Afternoon folks, welcome to the channel again. We're doing something a bit different this time. We've come up onto the Swan River for a bit of Mulloway fishing, a bit of tailor fishing, and just basically see what else we can catch. We're gonna do an overnighter. Uh, so we've got all the sleeping bags on the boat, got plenty of food, and we're gonna head round to Mosman Bay, I think, anchor up tonight for big Mulloway, hopefully. We'll see how we go. So, just have a look. All ready to go, a perfect day again in Perth. Everyone enjoying the river. What an awesome place to be. Really looking forward to it. So we'll see what goes on. The weather's gonna stay the same. I don't know whether the wind's gonna get up or not, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let's get this boat launched. Don't forget, as always, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Leave any comments, give us any tips, <laughs> which we'll probably need. And yeah, we'll see you out there. We've set up here in Mosman Bay and we're just flicking out a few lures to see if we can get any small tailor and herring. Haven't had nothing yet. There were some birds busting up here a minute ago. There are, and there's fish busting up by the shallows there, so there's something about. Follows or anything. It's going to go over this side. We're getting a bit close now, so I'll have to reverse the boat out a bit. That's fish to Stephen. Nice little tailor. Nice. How big's that one? 30 centimetres is what's its teeth. 30 centimetres. I'll just stick my rod in there. First fish. Nice little tailor. Do you want to measure it? Yeah, I don't know if it's 30. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get the lie detector. Because uh, we love that one for fillets. Look at these people here. Yeah. That's 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 size. Put his head the other way. Yeah, that's size. Kill him. We love that. We love that and we'll have nice fillets off there for the Mulloway tonight. Perfect. You. See, we've got all them bait fish. I don't know if you can see them. Loads of bait fish, which is what the tailor are after. Stephen's using a bluer colour lure, and I've got this almost transparent, but it's got a bit of a flash to it. Let's 
the sinker, so I'll let it sink for let it sink for a little while and just slowly retrieve it by different speeds until you get the right speed they want. Stephen's just had that one fish, so we're just going to go on another drift. There's obviously schools of tailor moving about. There's obviously schools of tailor moving about. You keep seeing fish busting up all the way around here. Drops off from a couple of metres here right down into 20 metres here, which is where, like I said, we'll be fishing here tonight. Where, where am I stopping? Uh, I reckon somewhere around here. And we're drifting, we're doing a nice drift just all the way back towards that yacht there. Perfect. So I've changed over now. I've changed over now. I'm going to use this uh, Riptide. The old Nomad Riptide's always a winner. Sinking, 125 centimeter, uh, 125 millimeter. So we'll give that one a go and see if we can get one on another drift. Stevens in another fish. Looks like another tailor. Could be a herring. Oh, it's a herring. That's all right. Is it a herring? There's another one chasing it. Look. A tailor. Another tailor for the boy. Cleaning me out. Not as big that one. We'll measure it anyway because. Fresh Taylor fillets from Alloway. Righto, we're moored up. Moored up for tonight, all the boats seem to be coming in now. We've actually moored up onto one of these permanent moorings. Don't know whether we're allowed to, but what's the worst can happen? Kick you off. So we're just getting all our gear ready for tonight. Pelicans are coming for a feed. So we're just getting our gear ready for tonight. Getting all settled down, ready. Uh, we're in 20 metres of water, there's a bit of fluff we went over, I don't know whether it's a boat wreck or it's something down there anyway and it's holding fish so that's a good enough sign for me. So all the sailing yachts are coming in now after their day out in the water and we're going to get ready. So what I'm going to do on the business end for the squid, I'm going to use a two hook panel rig, so I'll put one, one hook on with a uni knot. And then I'm just going to measure out from the tip of the squid to the eyeball, roughly. That way I can put one hook through there, one hook through the eye, that will hold the tail bit on. And present it nice. And then all I do is a knotless knot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grip it with your finger. Go back through the eye. Pull it tight, and that ain't going nowhere. So that's set up perfect. On the business end, I've got a 60, 60 pound leader, a running ledger, link ledger swivel, a fluoro bead, and then a swivel, and then the leader's gonna go on the swivel with a union knot. Make a loop, put it against it three, four times. Three, four, wet it up, put it tight, and then pull it in. Well, I've never had one of them knots bust. And then just trim the tag in. I always leave a little bit of a tag. And then on the running swivel, if it goes on all right, if it hopefully will, a bit of persuasion, 
Here you go. Running lead. I might even make that a smaller lead. See how it works in the water. And that's it, zero resistance. So okay, that's one rod well. done. First fish, first hook up, probably a stingray, hugging the bottom. It's just sitting on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those big fat round bars, so it's just snapped off. It's just sitting on the bottom. Don't. It's coming up. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. <laughs> Didn't like that. <sighs> nah. You can't. No. All right, I've got to try and get this. I look it. You got see if you can get the pliers on it, Stephen. I'm going to call you back. Yeah, right, mate. I'll hold my rod. Give us the pliers. Where's the pliers? Righto, one stingray to start off with. Sun's just going down now. Wind's a little bit of a breeze about still, but then it drops off and then it comes back again. But baits are out, burley's out. So let's see how we go. Got the rods out there. Live bait on that one. And it's a perfect night. So it's pointless doing any more filming. So next time you see us, we should have a mull away being played or on the boat. Half 12 at night. Went on a screaming run. Had a bit of a tangle with the other line, but we're out. We just ended up cutting the line. I don't think it's a stingray because it's not hugging the bottom. I'm shaking like a dog having a shit. Just That's a mull away, gotta be. Yeah, it looks like one. Oh, that's a mull away. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> mull away! Oh, stoked! <laughs> Completed it! Look at that bad boy! <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh, we waited long enough for it. It was on the strip. That was on the strip of Taylor. Look at that. Nice bar of silver and all. Oh, flipping heck. Time I've waited for that is unreal. And the rod just real stripped off. Like I say, half 12 at night and we've done it. <laughs> Grunting away. Is 
his camera. Is that good? Yeah. There it is. That's what we came for. We waited long enough for it. We got it in the end. Nice big fat mull away. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button, hit the comments. Hit the notifications. See more fish like this. There we go, we're going to put it back.